So if there's something that I like about China, it's their love for an official NHL size hockey rink in the middle of a shopping mall in Chongqing, China. Can you believe it? I'm a Canadian, I'm here, and there's a rink that is completely empty in a shopping mall. And they would let me skate in this rink alone for about two bucks an hour. Oh man, come on. I'm a major, major fan. Guys, I don't know if you know this about me, but I am a massive Snoopy fan. All the way from the Peanuts Christmas to Charlie Brown. I've got all the figurines. Yes, I have every comic uh, of Snoopy and the Peanuts. And you got, I'm inside like a dog house in China here full of LEDs and Snoopy. And have a look here, guys, look at this. So this is celebrating like the 70 years of Snoopy. And somebody has decided to cut Snoopy out of wood and my little buddy Woodstock. Isn't that cute? I mean, I didn't expect this here, but this is quite incredible what they have here. Just do it. Oh, and have a look. Come over and have a look at this. To see that. How excited? Massively excited. This is huge. And there's one to ten. Thousand. Why is there a photo booth here? Oh, what's this? Okay, I'm inside some photo booth. I don't know what's going on here. Go. see the Snoopy manager. Uh, it's not working. It should work. It needs to be rebooted. Give it a kick. Damn it. COVID, COVID, COVID. Psychiatric help. Uh, the doctor's in. What should we ask for help? How do I cure Tim K? <laughs> uh, where is Homer? Are you telling me we're gonna wait in line? Yeah, we'll wait. For the photo booth? Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They'll be clearing out of here soon. Oh, they're jumping the queue. What are you gonna do about it? Yeah, we'll wait. Record a beautiful moment. Where? So now what happened? Huh? Are you sure we can go down? Yeah, we can go. Yeah? Flower Cares. It's actually a jewelry store promotion. Now you guys got to remember we're in China right now, so it's not always easy to find uh, something that you like. I've just arrived to GK Cafe called Grandma's Kitchen. You can get pretty much anything you want here in China. Burgers, pizza, desserts, rice, noodles, sandwiches, main course. Beautiful view of Chongqing in the background, as you can see. And look what we have here. It's Yuya. Well, good find. Very good find. Ooh, we could have used this place last night, man. Wow. I am going to have Tex Classic Cheeseburger. All right, cheeseburger. Well done. Uh, well done. Okay. Well done. Uh, no onion. No onion. No onion. Okay, good. Uh, you want ketchup? Uh, Burger, ketchup. Okay, what? Uh, Ketchup or fries or? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay uh, I ordered some cheesecake because it was Christmas time. And look how cute. It's quite fresh. Thank you very much. And they brought us a tiramisu for free. And we're going to head back to the room. And we're going to get up and we're going to do it all over again. 
tomorrow. Just outside the shopping mall here. So for all you guys that think that China is just people working in sweatshops, there seems to be a lot of Mercedes, BMWs, and valet parking drivers, and Range Rovers in one of the biggest cities in the world called Chongqing. China just amazes me and they're extremely helpful. This concierge guy just came all the way over from about 30 meters just to help us out. And just getting ready to go back to the hotel. So you're greeted with a lot of brand names like Bodega, Louis Vuitton, Gucci, Chanel as soon as you walk in the doors. China's an up and coming player. I'm not big for uh, room um, overviews or anything like that, but we got this room for about $35 US. Yeah, it's a decent sized room. I mean, the view, uh, I'm right in the city center here. You can see a lot of big towers here. And uh, I'm not gonna open the door because it's too cold. But yeah, pretty much down city center. A lot of people out again tonight.